So over the overnight hours, a few more light showers with moderate downpours too, included over areas of Davidson County. We've seen some of those showers bring in about a half an inch in a few spots from areas like Salisbury and western sections of Davidson County have seen some pretty consistent rainfall over the last hour. We've seen showers roll through Thomasville and High Point, and they've been a little bit steadier too down through High Rock Lake area. And out through Troy, you've seen some spotty showers. So far, it's been very spotty too through downtown Winston-Salem and Greensboro, but we've got a couple spots over in Summerfield where we've got some moderate downpours also near areas of Gordontown and Fuller Mill. You can see along 64, some decent showers just south of Uptown Lexington. So we're getting in on the rain right now. Most of this rain is going to kind of exit as we go overnight through about 6 a.m., but we could still see a little bit more for you going into the next few hours and through midday tomorrow because we've got that ridge of high pressure that's going to wedge in here. So even though we're done with this rain, we could see some more east northeasterly flow help to bring in some passing showers. Temperatures overnight down into the upper 40s after days of 70s. Wow, it's been sensational. We're actually about to break an eight day streak here of above normal temperatures that were sitting in the 70s beginning on October 19th. And today on the 26th, we had 79 in Greensboro, but 80 degrees in Winston Salem. Look at this from Salisbury all the way up through Lexington King. It was just a gorgeous afternoon and 78 even in era Virginia. So nice day and that's about to change because we've got temperatures dropping in with that cool air that will flow in behind our ridge of high pressure and that front is already pushing off the coast. So things are changing. Temperatures expected in the 50s, upper 40s possible on those western slopes and temperatures right now. Rain cooled at 65 in Thomasville. You're down to 66 in Uptown Lexington to 65 in Ashboro. We expect to see these temperatures dip eventually into those upper 40s tomorrow morning. Cool air catches up with us throughout the day, so temps don't really move a whole lot. In fact, we might be warmer around the midnight hour and then start to cool continuing through the morning hours. With that, we could see some more passing showers. That east northeasterly breeze filling in for us. We may see a little bit of lift, allowing for some showers out there middle of the day and afternoon. So it's a little cloudier and it's also much cooler for you than what we hope for. Doesn't look like we'll see much in the way of clearing, maybe some cloud thinning possible later in the day. But even then we'll talk about some cool air for Monday morning. Those temperatures getting down into the mid and upper 40s, a little patchy frost, uh, frost possible in the mountains mainly, but I think it's going to take until Tuesday to see more cool air. Drier air is filling in for us. Look at this 49 in the try tomorrow morning. 56 with lots of clouds out there. So keep the umbrellas handy or at least those warm layers in a light rain jacket too through middle of the day. If you have any errands to run 49 degrees of the foothills, we've got you at 56 and we could still see some showers off and on through lunch hour. And looking at the head though, we've got the boo at the zoo tomorrow. So plan accordingly, grab a jacket. Still beautiful to be out and about as we have temperatures in the 50s and some hopeful cloud thinning by later in the day. Temperatures at 77 for Halloween and a very dry, beautiful day for that.